Check out how this white moth lands on the white lichen for camouflage. He could have landed on the rest of this tree branch, but he lands right on the white lichen. I'd say he's liking it. Hey everybody, David Fine here from Keys Moths. I'm gonna do a video that shows you some beautiful examples of camouflage in the insect world and how insects and other animals use camouflage to their advantage in nature. Guys, I've got a couple really cool examples. Check this one out right now. Yeah, guys, take a look at this crab spider here. Guys, look at the look at this awesome example of camouflage on this crab spider. This poor honeybee came in for a drink, came in for a meal, and now he became a meal. Such is the circle of life. And he's got a fly on his head. The fly is like laying eggs on him. It's a parasitic fly. Look at this. This guy's getting eaten from both ends. Look at, look at this real quick, guys. I'm trying to hold this still. So this poor honeybee, it's got a crab, cider, crab spider sucking his abdomen dry. And then he's got parasitic fly laying eggs in his head. You guys see the parasitic fly? Laying eggs in the head of the bumblebee. I'm sorry, the honeybee. Here's another example of camouflage, guys. Uh, there are these wilting flowers here, which some butterflies come and use dying flowers as alkaloid-based uh, chemicals that they need for sperm production. Right on, sitting right on top of one of them is this leaf-footed assassin bug. And they sit and they will attack a butterfly or a bee and with its proboscis subdue it and start sucking its <laughs> life away, much like a spider. Um, in fact, here's here's actually a pair of them mating. But they they choose habitats or backgrounds where they would blend right in uh, so that they wouldn't be easily seen. So. That's a, another great example of camouflage and how a bee better watch out. And how <laughs> insects will use camouflage for their advantage. All right. We've got... All right, we've got... Uh, you're so annoying phone that you don't focus. All right, Favonis. Favonis, 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 four Favonis hair streaks on one sweet clover. And here's another camouflage exam example right here, guys. This assassin bug is sitting there waiting, waiting for one of these hair streaks to just make the wrong move. See him there? All right, even cocoons of butterflies and moths use camouflage for defense. Uh, what better defense to use or what better camouflage is there than to use, sorry, the bike, biking boys are going by. Guys, what better defense to use or what better camouflage is there to use than the actual leaves of the host plant? They wrap themselves in the living leaves. They, they keep them attached so they keep their color and then they make their cocoon inside of it. So, I mean, what better, what better uh, tactic there is? Sniper tactic? Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's another one. Let's check this out, guys. What? Walking stick? On the underside of that branch. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> check this out. Who can see the big bug? Who can see the big bug? That's right. There's a walking stick right here. Whoop, he dropped. Well, let's see if I can get it. Walking sticks jump. They do jump. They call them, should call them a jumping stick. <laughs> well, here's a caterpillar, Rick. Oh, yeah. That's a. I read the walking stick. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm going to let him go. That's it. You know what it is? Yeah, that's a. Uh, Tussock moth. 
See the walking stick, guys? Blends in, looks like a stick, hence the name. That's the Florida walking stick. Thank you.